The historical village of Sanex is located in the northeast of Arran, an island off the west coast of mainland Scotland. The island can be described as Scotland in miniature, with its high mountains to the north and lower undulating uplands to the south. Situated close to the beach, Sanex Church, the manse and the residential building known as Dundarach are all in need of substantial repair and improvement. The existing buildings all have slated roofs and white painted walls with black window surrounds. The site was recently acquired by a newly established Scottish charity with a mandate to restore and refurbish the existing buildings and develop new buildings. The objective is to create a Christian centre based upon the principles and values of the early Celtic saints and pioneers who brought Christianity to Scotland and then to much of Europe. A modest start has been made to the project with the construction of a simple timber-clad but highly insulated building. This will be used as a site office initially 
but will eventually provide space for a variety of uses associated with the ongoing life and work of the centre. It is strategically located at the entrance to the site, with commanding views in all directions. Rather than trying to compete with the existing buildings, the new buildings will echo the beehive structures of early Celtic monastic communities, particularly the stone architecture of Skellig Michael. This was a 7th century community of Celtic Christian monks located on a rocky island off the west coast of Southern Ireland. The dry stone walls at Sanach's Christian Centre will be constructed from locally quarried stone. Celtic geometry and symbolism have been used as a formwork to generate the plan of the new centre. Other considerations contributing to the shape of the buildings include the need for rainwater attenuation through the green roof and high standards of insulation to all elevations, responsible use of materials from sustainable sources on the island will be a major focus. The courtyard divides into three distinct areas representing the Celtic Christian principles of cave, refectory and road, or, in plain language, personal devotion, social interaction and pilgrimage. The Trinity Knot combines with the circle of the Beehive Chapel to form a triquetra. This was used by the Celtic Christians to symbolise the Trinity of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. One loop of the Trinity Knot is highlighted as the early Christian Ichthus symbol, which referred to Christ. Underlying and unifying the layout of the courtyard and cloisters is the Celtic Cross. In the Beehive Chapel, the stained glass windows face onto the three different areas of the courtyard. Each window will emphasise the character of the area to which it relates, by depicting historic events relevant to Aaron and Sanex in particular. Each window has a predominant colour, either red, yellow or blue, which will create interesting lighting effects within the eggshell white dome of the chapel. Each of the three areas of the courtyard relates to one person of the Trinity. The cave, or secret place, emphasizes the fatherhood of God. Jesus taught us to pray in secret to the Father. The refectory, or table, symbolizes the active work of the Holy Spirit in drawing people together in mutual respect, support and fellowship. The road speaks of Christ's obedience to the Father and our need to follow him in our daily lives, wherever this may take us. At Sanex Christian Centre, the activities will be based around a rhythm of prayer, morning, noon and evening, as practised by the Christian families of Sanex in the early 1800s. The accommodation will provide space for praise and worship, education, creative arts, music, community activities, and historical exploration and interpretation. There will be residential accommodation on site for visiting groups and individuals attending seminars, courses and residential retreats. The surrounding landscape is both peaceful and inspiring. It is hoped that many will come to Sanex to be blessed, uplifted and refreshed and will in turn take some of that blessing back with them to their own communities.